Welcome. In today's video, we're going to build some doors. This request came in through my Twitter as they wanted me to make the doors for Storage Wars. You press a button and they will open for a few seconds and then close. They are currently three high by four wide. They are a little wider than the original design here, so you cannot stack them as close as possible. You can use any gravity block in place of the gravel here to get more colorful. Let's go ahead and head over to the building world so we can build these. These will fit in a 4 by 6 area and they are 11 blocks below the ground. We'll need to dig out a pretty big hole for the store. To build this, you will need the following items. This build is two triple piston extenders built mirrored. As we build on one side, we will do the mirror image on the other side. To begin, place down four blocks. Place one in front of it and one on top. Place a block in front of this one and delete the temporary block. Repeat for the other side. Place a redstone torch on both blocks and connect them with some redstone dust. Place a lever down and go ahead and turn it on and the redstone torches should turn off. Place a block on top of both torches with a redstone torch coming off of them. Place an observer on the side of the torch looking up. Place a sticky piston next to the observer. Again, we'll repeat this on both sides. Place an observer looking down in front of the sticky piston. Place an observer observing the observer. Followed by a block. Go ahead and place down two sticky pistons. Place a block on the redstone torch, followed by a redstone torch. Place a repeater going into the sticky piston on three ticks. Place a repeater coming from the block on four ticks. Place a block on the piston and on the observer after it moves. Place an observer in between the two blocks. And repeat on the other side. You can place down an observer on the observer, followed by a block on both sides of it. Place down another sticky piston and then a block behind the sticky piston over the redstone torch. followed by a redstone torch. Place a redstone lamp next to the torch, followed by a repeater on three ticks going into the air. Place a block on the observer and next to the sticky piston. Place an observer observing the redstone lamp. Place a block on the redstone torch. Followed by another redstone torch on the block. Place a repeater coming out of the block on four ticks.
and place an observer on the repeater. Place another observer observing the top repeater. Place a piece of glazed terracotta in front of the observer and on top of the torch. Place a block on top of the observer. Followed by a torch. Now come down to the bottom and place a sticky piston pointing down off of the torch. Place an observer observing the air on both sides. Now we can go ahead and place down our slime blocks and honey blocks and build in the door. So place two slime blocks on this one and two honey blocks on this one, followed by your gravel or powdered concrete. Build it up four blocks and your door is complete. Flip the lever and it should close. And again, it should open. Now if you want to hook this up to a pulse extender, you just build one down here. Place down a hopper, send a hopper into that hopper, delete the original hopper, and send it back. Place a comparator on both sides of the hopper, followed by a block. Place down a temporary block, followed by a sticky piston, delete the temporary block. Repeat this on the other side. Place down a repeater and connect the line up to the door. Go ahead and place in eight items and a redstone block on top of the hopper. Place redstone dust behind the piston and it should move. Place a block here, not here, place it here up in front of the piston, followed by a redstone torch. Place a button on top of it. So now if we turn off this lever, this button should work. If you'd like the door to stay open longer, just increase the amount of items in here. The lever also still works. And there you have it, a 3x4 door. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Please leave comments and suggestions below for future videos. Thanks for watching.